Mr. Ron Adams? Yes, that's me. How may I help you? We hear about the missing child report you filed. Your grandson, Barry, I believe. Oh, yes. Please, come in. Can I get you something warm to drink? I I've got to... No, thanks. We're fine. So when was the last time you saw Barry? I sent him this morning to get some milk from the store down the street. But he hasn't shown up since. Then how old is he? Twelve years old. Please, sir, you have to find Do you have any idea where he could be? Friends? Family? Uh, I don't know about friends, but I'm the only family he has. His parents died in a car accident years ago. Do you have a picture of him? Yes, I do. Hold on a second. How old is this picture? Well, my camera's not as new as what you folks have, but I assure you that picture was taken just a few days ago. Uh, I just prefer to stick to my own century's technology. Well, Mr. Adams, we'll let you know if we find anything. In the meantime, please, don't hesitate to call me or the police department if you should remember anything that would help us find Barry. Here's my card. Try to get some rest. I appreciate that, Detective. I'm sure you'll do your best. Have a good night, Miss Adams. How was work today? Work was... What? Was it that bad? It wasn't bad. For once in God knows how long. Today was actually just... Weird. Weird? This old guy put in a missing child report, right? The only picture he had, which he said it was taken last week, looked like it was taken in the 1920s. The toys, they look like my grandmother would have played with them. Well, you know, not everybody plays with video games and tablets. I didn't play with video games when I grew up. Does that make me weird? Well, I didn't want to say anything, honey, but you are kind of... Don't you dare finish that sentence. You know what I was going to say. Kind of sexy. Oh, oh nice save, detective. I believe Lady Catherine is requesting your assistance. Would you please? Let me just say, she misses her loving father. This sexy lady's going to stay right here and wait until you come back. Maybe I'll even read something on my iPad, of course. You're hilarious. <laughs> Daddy! Catherine, I'm right here, baby. What's the matter? I'm scared. Honey, I won't let anyone hurt you. It's just a rain. I know. It's scary. Okay. Have I ever told you the story about the little boy who was scared of the rain? There was this boy who would never go outside if it was raining. Silly him thought that if he did, he was going to melt. So he decided that he was going to stay in his room forever. Years and years and years went by and the little boy was now an old man. One day he was in his kitchen and it caught on fire. Eventually the whole house was up in flames. He had to get out of the house in a hurry. 
while waiting for the fire department outside to come, rain started pouring from the sky. Unfortunately for the old man, he had no place to hide. So he sat in his yard and he waited to melt. A few minutes went by and he realized that the one thing that he was so frightened of and so scared of was now saving his childhood home. And it was then that he realized that rain is not such a bad thing after all. And you know what? What? The boy never melted. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Okay. Don't be scared. Sleep tight. Okay, good night. Wow. Everything looks delicious. Too bad we can't sit and eat. We're running late. You know how hard it was to wake up this morning after last night. You better at least eat something. Oh, oh my god, look at the time. Come on, cat, let's go! I'm coming! I'm sorry, we're running late. I'm sorry. I guess she's ready to go. I'll see you tonight. Let's go. Here you go. Is everything okay, Daddy? Yes, sweetie, what? Well, you haven't been home lately. And I never see you anymore. Kat, you know I've been busy with work. But you're right, I haven't been around much. Look. I promise I'll do better. Do you know how much I love you? I know. Will you be home for dinner tonight? I won't miss it for the world. Just so you know, I'm not scared of the rain anymore. That's good, baby. I'm so proud of you. You be safe, okay? And I'll see you tonight. Goodbye, Daddy. Goodbye. Morning, Kim. Thank you. Late day. Ed, how you doing? Hey, good. good. Listen, yeah. it was a James Peterson case, that file. I, I need it by the end of the day. Yeah, sure. Okay. No okay. Good. Well, I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. Good morning, Claire. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah, Dave, please get in here. Anything new on this missing kid? Mr. Adams' grandson? Not yet, sir. We have a couple of units asking around the neighborhood about any sightings of him. Nothing so far. I want forensics to email me a picture of the photo, and I want to know if anything pops up from it, anything at all. What about you, sir? I'm going to go talk to his neighbors. We've tried to contact a few of them. No leads yet. 
just let me know if anything new pops up. Detective Anderson, CPD. What can I do for you, Detective? Have you seen this boy? No, sir, I don't believe I've ever seen this person. We think he came to the store yesterday to buy groceries. His house is a few blocks from here. Julie, come here a sec. Did you see this person in here yesterday? No, I've never seen this boy before. Can you look again? Please, be sure. Yes, sir. I'm sure. I've lived here all my life, Detective. I, I know every family in this town. I can tell you for certain that kid does not live here. 37 Lake Street, a greenhouse, a big greenhouse? Yes, sir. I, and I live a block from there. That house has been vacant for years. Okay, how about a, a Mr. Adams? I spoke to him yesterday at that residence. I'm really sorry, Detective. That's all I know. Thank you for your help. Mr. Adams, this is Detective Anderson. Yeah. Sir, we have more information about the picture. Based on the paper and its condition, our experts say it was taken 60 years ago. What? That's impossible. The guy just gave it to me yesterday. He said it was taken a few days ago. We also ran facial recognition on the kid in the picture, sir. His name is Ronald Adams. He disappeared about 60 years ago. Then who was the person me, Williams, and Brown spoke to yesterday? Sir, when I directed the call to you, you were the only one aware of the situation. Officer Williams and Brown were off duty yesterday. <laughs> Steve, I gotta go. Come on, come out. Where are you? I saw you. Barry! Come on. I saw you run past the door. <laughs> Daddy. Who is that? Show yourself. Cat? Cat, baby? You are mine now, Jerry. Who are you? Show yourself!
Mr. Adams? Mr. Adams? Detective Anderson, Mr. Adams? Baby, where are you? Catherine. Have you seen Barry? Are you playing with Barry? Catherine, where's mommy? Is she here? Catherine. What's the matter? Have you seen Barry? be so reckless if I were you. You see, if you shoot, I will pull both triggers at the same time before I fall dead. So why don't you put your gun down? Why are you doing this? Who are you? Baby, it's gonna be okay. I promise it's gonna be okay. But you, you stupid fuck. What did we do to you? You seriously don't know? I assumed you stopped by the house. I'm doing this for you, Jerry. It's all right, sweetheart. Don't worry. Didn't I tell you the story about the little boy who was scared of the rain? What? What did you say? What's the matter, Jerry? Don't you think I know that story? You tell it every time we do this. Let's just talk about this. Ron, just lower your gun. 
It's been a few years, Jerry. You've done good. you got a family now. Does Jerry ever talk about me? Talk about how he ignores me every time I try to set things right? Do you have any idea how he treats me? Locks me up inside like a little kid. What are you talking about? It's that time again, wait, wait, Jerry. Wait, 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 wait. Just leave my family out of this, please. If you have a problem with me, I'll let's just talk about soon, it. I'll see you soon, Jerry. No, no. <laughs> What is your emergency? Yes. I'd like to report a missing boy. Look! No! Look! Jerry. I listened to you! Jerry. Shut up. Shut no! Up. Jerry! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up!